Hi guys, I'm Gary, M0TIG. Um, I promised that we'd follow up with the um, Kiwi SDR actually uh, running. Um, I'm gonna show you how uh, to connect it up now um, and we'll, we'll crack on and uh, see what it does. Right, okay, this it is. We've spoken, um, we did an overview of the, the, the video and we spoke about what you, what you get basically in the box. And this is, um, I promised I'd show you how this uh, worked and uh, connected together. So the first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna take your ethernet cable. Now we do have these in stock. If you, if you need one, um, just, uh, just let us know. And uh, as I say, we, we can sort you a cable out. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that and you're gonna plug that into your router. Okay, now this is a switch before anyone spots that, um, but it's the same process. You just simply plug that into your router at home and then you take your ethernet cable and you simply plug it in the ethernet port of the, the Kiwi. Okay, the next thing is there's also an optional power supply. Now, not everyone needs a power supply, but we do keep these in stock. Let us know if you need one at the time of the order. Um, this comes with the 5.5 uh, 2.1 DC jack, which simply plugs in to the, the, the uh, DC socket on the board. I do have one ready plugged in and ready to go. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the supplied GPS antenna and that quite simply goes on the port marked GPS and um, with the 3.3 volt uh, bias so just simply screw that on like so taking a bit of care you know obviously these are fairly uh, uh, exposed okay and you can put that somewhere where it can see the sky and then we're going to take our HF antenna um, which is um, going from um, pretty much low frequency right the way up to 30 megs and that just screws on the remaining SMA port. Now that is almost everything and we then take our power supply and simply plug that in and you'll notice if you can see that it's now doing some things are just starting up and you can see the ethernet port will uh, will start a little activity and the uh, beagle bone will will start um, doing its thing and that's it we're ready now to uh, jump on the internet browser and uh, see what it actually does okay we connected up the kiwi sdr and now we're going to we're actually going to just um, connect into the uh, ip address um, via your web browser um, this will work on Macs and PCs, Linux alike. It's no no big uh, big stress where that's concerned. Um, you quite simply in your web browser, you just type uh, Kiwi SDR dot local colon eight zero seven three, and that is the uh, default uh, uh, gateway and uh, you know, access. Just click enter. And you'll notice that the Kiwi SDR has a coloured little icon in the corner and then this page will just uh, pop up. Let's just turn that audio down just a smidge. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to close that bit down. Um, and this is really the simplest um, interface uh, really ever but the really really good thing with this is uh, I, I said earlier in in the earlier videos that you can actually share this with a community of, of users and uh, it, it really is you know uh, good fun you can have up to four users on each of the uh, on each of the actual kiwis um, and that pretty much sums it up um, it works in the usual way you can actually connect um, or you just tune in just by clicking on the waterfall. You can change the display by just clicking on over here. You can select different different modes, um, either kicking in the, the, the spectrum analyzer across the top and then with the waterfall. Um, along here, you've actually got your uh, different modes, LSB, USB, CW, CW narrow, um, narrow band FM. Um, all sorts of things there and then you've also got some other controls as well which you can um, look around with volume and uh, other bits and pieces um, band selection is done via this drop down menu but you can also use your zoom in wheel and zoom in and out 
from the screen. Frequencies can also be manually tuned in, in there. So if you wanted to tune to say 14,000, you can just dial it in and tune. Um, it's very, very quick. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out by using the, the buttons. Um, and I'm not sure what that one would do. Oh, that one that really zooms in. Um, well, that's pretty much it really with that, that little bit. It's loads and loads of uh, bits and pieces to play with. You've also got a gain control here. Um, and you can either make a simple or a more advanced menu as well just by clicking on the more button. Um, you can e instantly mute the audio by clicking on the mute button. Turn AGC on and off. Um, and that's, that's pretty much... Um, with that there's a there's also another page which you can you can log into which sets up things like the, the web sharing and, and bits and pieces and that again is the kiwi sdr dot local colon eight zero seven three forward slash admin and just click on that wait for it to load and then you get a series of pages um, just pop up and you can then well, the first one gives you the general status of the of the device. Um, the next one um, enables either user controls or whether or not you want to share it on the on the web. You can restart the server. You can reboot the Beagle, and you can turn the the, the Beagle um, on or off. You've got a configuration page where you can set the initial frequency. Um, you can set a waterfall, um, you know, minimum zoomed in, zoomed out, whichever you like. Um, initial modes, initial zooms, um, channel spacing, um, calibration of the waterfall, um, clocks and all sorts of things. Um, you can also set your, your ITU region web page. Um, now this one gives you um, lots of access really to the, the main, um, well actually this one gives you, looks like your, your details which you set in there for your, um, your Kiwi SDR web um, access um, and which means you can then join this sdr.hu uh, community which you can either enable or um, you can you can display your kiwi sdr on on sdr.hu um, just by clicking yes and you can do all your all your details in there um, if you just pop along here you can actually see this is the listing and you here you can see everyone's um, Kiwi SDR and you can join in with this um, and it's quite interesting to see you know what, what's actually around at the moment there are a hundred people listening there are a hundred and ten receivers online and yeah great fun so let's go back to the admin page you can set up a, um, a DX list um, updates you can check for updates we're running the latest software and it should tell us that um, your network now this is where, is where you can set your, your standard port. By default it's 8073 and there it is there. You can change that to an open port on your, on your computer if you wish. You can also set whether or not your Kiwi is either a static IP or a DHCP served um, IP address. Um, probably best initially to leave it on DHCP unless you really know what you're doing. Um, the next one gives you the GPS data. And you can see here, we, we've actually found, it looks like it's seen uh, some satellites um, at the moment, or at least one. Um, and it's giving you the, the strength of that satellite. Now that antenna is sitting on the, the desk in front of me, so that's not going to give a, a, a great uh, uh, reception. Um, we've also got a log file, which you can read through, and it tells you if there are any errors and all that sort of stuff and what's going on extensions not really sure what this one does at the moment you'd probably have to read through the manual on that one um, and then obviously security you can then set passwords and bits and pieces and that pretty much sums it all up really it just uh, leaves you guys really to, to go and have a play so i'm going to carry on now and uh, work my way through this and um, that pretty much sums it all up okay well there we have it it's um up and running um, I hope you enjoy we have these things in in stock um, let us know if you need power supply any adapters anything at the time of purchase um, all next day delivery look forward to your order thanks for watching
Are you recording? Yeah, I think so. Yep, I am. Okay, I'm do recording. Me, do me a clap. Right. One. Yeah, yeah, okay. In one, two, three. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you understand and uh, can see actually how it all uh, went together. Um, no, that's not very good, is it? Nah, go on, am I going to say this? What am I going to say? Uh, there we have it, Kiwi SDR. Uh, now available from stock. All right, okay, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Okay, so in three, two, one. Okay, well, there basically we have it. Um, no, that wasn't very good either, was it? No. Why do I add a word in? That's a bit weird. <laughs> right. I'll look away. No, don't, you don't have to look away. You're all right, Mike. Okay, in three, two, one.